Hello, you gorgeous individuals. It's Kav here, and today I'm here with the amazing Roshni Chakshi. <laughs> she has graciously agreed to be on my channel. Hi, guys. And if you all don't know, if you haven't been subscribed to my channel, I have already read and reviewed Arusha both on this channel and on Goodreads, and I gave it like six out of five stars. So <laughs> I think that tells you my opinion on it. So definitely go check those out. And now Roshni is here herself to tell us a little bit more about the book. Yeah. Okay, so the book is sort of inspired by the Mahabharata, and the Mahabharata has five demigod brothers. Maybe I shouldn't say five because it's a little bit of a dead giveaway. <laughs> Four demigod brothers in their fight to sort of win back their kingdom. And while that's not exactly the retelling of Aru, Aru is a 12-year-old girl who is a reincarnation of one of these legendary Bandava brothers. And in the first book, we see her making an epic mistake where she unwittingly releases a demon and then has to go on a quest to fix that, but she is not alone. And along the way, she finds people who might just end up becoming family. Kind of going off of that, I did see your interview you did with Rick Riordan a few mm -hmm. months ago. Yeah! And in it, you talked a little bit about how you put elements of yourself into both Minnie and Aru, both kind Absolutely. of personality-wise <laughs> and like identity-wise. Mm -hmm. So kind of, could you just like tell them a little bit about that and expand on that? Because it was really nice to hear. Yeah, well, you know, when I was in middle school, like Aru, I was pretty much a huge liar. Because it was, I <laughs> like, really struggled to fit in. And when I was growing up, there weren't really people that looked like me in film or TV or books especially. And I feel like maybe it sounds shallow, but all this time I had always wanted to be seen as pretty. I'd always wanted to be seen like one of those pretty girls. I'm not ashamed of saying it because on some level it makes you feel seen. And so for me, writing Aru was a lot about the quest for being seen and to be okay with yourself even when middle school's hard and this is the first time that you discovered Nair and so you accidentally <laughs> gave yourself chemical mustache burns, which I did literally the week before homecoming. And like you can't shave your legs and you have a weird haircut and nobody finds you pretty except maybe your mom and like maybe that's only every other week. And it's not that pretty means everything, but it's just the fact of I see you and you are fine just the way you are. And with the character of Minnie, Minnie, like me, is half Filipino and half Indian. And for me, it was super important to be able to see kids who straddled like that cultural mm -hmm. spectrum and never felt less just because they were half of something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of going back to your first introduction of it, what was it like getting to use kind of like the Mahabharata and Hindu mythology in this novel? So, you know, it was honestly really challenging because the beautiful thing about Hindu mythology and especially stories of the Mahabharata is that they have a lot of nuance depending mm -hmm. on the region of India where you're from. Yeah. So for me, I really did my best to make sure that I was choosing the like largest common denominator of like similarities between yeah. the myths but also acknowledging that people can have totally different variations and that's fine it doesn't mean that you're telling a lie it just means that you're telling the story that you grew yeah. up with mm -hmm. yeah so kind of going off of that how did you come up with the premise for arusha growing up i was supremely obsessed with Sailor Moon. That idea of like a magical girl gang and they have like this cool pen and it helps them transform and they get like awesome uniforms. That was so important to me because growing up, I have still retained my best friend since childhood. The girl that I grew up next door with as my next door neighbor since kindergarten is still my best friend. She's gonna be in my wedding next year. She and I have looked so similar that we've been confused in the yearbook. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think it's so important to have friends like that that you can grow up with, or in a sense, just friends that see you for who you are and respect who you are as you're growing up is so rare. And for me, I really, really wanted to put that in our, and especially to make it magical brown girls. So the only magical brown girls I saw were like Badma and Parvati Patel in Harry Potter, yeah. and mostly they just get treated as shitty dates in Harry Potter and I am That's not true. about that life. Like if a boy did that to me, I would enchant you with like the bat bogey hex on you. I would take your place in the Goblet of Fire. I would own you, man. So. <laughs> Don't mess with Rashti, Don't guys. mess with me. Do not take me on a bad date. Which has not happened since I was 15 because I've been with the same guy. Yeah, we're getting was... married. And kind of to end this, we were actually talking about this a few minutes ago. What would be your advice to aspiring marginalized writers out there in pursuing their goals of writing? So my best advice to you is to remember that nobody is taking your spot. I feel like especially with how the industry has been in the past, it kind of pits women of color especially mm -hmm. against one another and it does not have to be that way support each other support your stories remember that there are a thousand different fairy tale retellings of beauty and the beast cinderella sleeping beauty you name it your voice is important your story is cherished and just because you think you might be telling something similarly nobody can take away your interpretation of that story and that is so important your interpretation your nuance is critical 
I believe you, everybody else will believe you, and you know, F the haters. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so that was all for this video. Wanted to keep it short and sweet. <laughs> and I will put links to where you can get Arusha in the description below. If this interview and my two reviews haven't convinced you to do it, I don't know what else will. <laughs> so go ahead and pre-order or order that depending on when you're watching this. And thank you all so much for watching and I will see you soon for a brand new video. Bye! Bye.